Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. I'm back for my post-market wrap-up on this lovely day. Uh-huh. March 8th, 2018. What do you think? This is the bond market fiend. You have not seen him here before. Well, he's here now. Today was epic. I mean, in the video that I did earlier today, uh, I I wanted you to go over to my website, hopefully you're watching this video on my website, and just glancing over at the bond market chart. I mean, they were in there buying up these things like they were the last on the planet. Again, what imbecile would want to be holding U.S. debt here? Um, I, I, I don't know. you you got to be smoking something pretty serious. Uh, we know who's propping this up. It's just so obvious. The, the fiend here, uh, collectively, uh, is the is the Federal Reserve, the Wall Street banks, the banks around the world that are determined to prop this up. Stocks finished positive uh, for the day. Actually, the Russell 2000 had a fractional loss, but the Dow Jones Industrial Average put on like 90-something points, the S&P 500 was positive, the NASDAQ was positive. Now, speaking of that, I did not have the guts to hold my positions overnight here. I closed these positions today, uh, Johnson & Johnson with a 28% gain, nice day trade. I should have held out for more. If I would have held on to the end of the day, I would have done probably over 40%. Uh, SPY trade dead even to the penny. So I had a really good day. Uh, I just wanted to get out of the market before uh, Trump started really talking about these tariff things. I, I, I don't know how the market is going to react overnight. Now with that said, Again, I really hope you wa you're watching this on my website. Just glance around the page and you'll look at the cryptocurrency charts starting with Bitcoin right underneath this video. Again, if you're watching this on the, my website, cryptos are getting crushed big time. Now, you know how this works. Uh, cash moving into and out of. Uh, cryptocurrencies gives us a huge tell. It's a leading indicator, people. That is that is the truth. I've covered this at length. I'm the first guy to talk about it. Um, so I don't like it. I, that's another reason why I did not hold my positions overnight or any longer. I was going to, but I didn't see. If I would have seen cash making its way back into cryptos, that probably would have prompted me to hold on to my positions. Look, am I unhappy that I had a 28% gain today? Uh, no, would you be? Are you? If you got in on these trades with me? Again, people keep asking me this question. I post them on, sit down, write this down. Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Facebook, in real time, when I am entering the trade and when I am exiting the trade. Let me just say this as well, and I, I almost fell over when I saw some of these comments. Uh, on Twitter, people were writing back and forth to each other. They're like, well, you know, I bought Johnson & Johnson, and I barely made anything. Did you buy the option, sir or ma'am? I said calls in the money. If you just bought the stock, you, you made almost nothing. Learn what you should be doing before you act. I mean, I know how insane this sounds or, or abstract, but you really should know what you're doing here. Have this lightest handle on, on what's going on. Uh, I am an equity derivatives trader. That uh, means I trade options. Um, that's, I, 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 I thought that this was just understood. So anyway. The bond market, let's go back to that real quick. Um, off the Richter scale, like I said this morning, that helped prop up this market in light of what was gonna come out of President Trump's mouth. 
I don't know how the market is going to swallow this overnight or into tomorrow. Don't know whatsoever. So what did I do again? Close my positions. I don't have anything open right now. I will reevaluate in the morning. We'll see how that goes. See how easy this is? It's really not hard if you just have a slight clue as to how to make this work and you have a nice technical system to back you up. All right. Um, the dollar today being stronger also put a little damper on stock market gains. Now, as you all are well aware, or should be, I am a major dollar bear uh, in the long run. I think the, do the dollar is going to resume its downward trajectory. This is just a bounce. I don't know when that's going to happen, maybe a day or two, but that st stock market positive. My gut, and I'm going to say this now before tomorrow, is uh, next week again is going to be bullish. I said this week would be bullish for the market and guess what? It was. I think next week is going to be bullish too, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. I will readdress this issue then. Um, just one more thing that I want to disclose here. Uh, I started buying Litecoin. Um, not a real big position, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I had a nice uh, run with Bitcoin, as most of you know. Here, I do own Steam, and um, I'm just gonna buy up some Litecoin here and hold on to it for a while, just to see what happens. You also know I hold gold, I hold silver, I own real estate, lots of things. So I'm kind of a diversified person. With that said. I'm going to let you all go and uh, we will readdress this all end. We will reconvene right back here and hopefully this guy, this, this ugly fiend here, won't be anywhere to be found, although I find that hard to believe. I think he's going to rear his ugly head tomorrow as well, just to make sure they prop up that bond market and keep those rates suppressed so stocks will go higher. Wow, the Frankenstein market. Welcome to reality. See you tomorrow.